Hello, this is Alan Campbell with Trucking Office. Today's video, we're going to talk about what permissions are required for the Trucking Office ELD mobile application for Android phones. And what we're looking at here is a screen of the app when it's first installed and it's asking for permissions. And the first permission that you need to authorize on Android is the location. Now, when you first log, first load the application, these are the options it'll give you while using the app, only this time, or deny. Now, the ELD application needs to have location because we need to stay in compliance with the FMCSA regulations for all the logbook um, events. So every event that's recorded by the logbook app needs to have a location tagged with it. And then the application gets your location from the phone. Since, uh, since the phone already has that, then that's the easiest way to get it. So what we need is we need to have the location permission set to you get the application all the time so that any time the logbook app records an event, it can get the location even if the application is in the background. Now, if the application is closed and not running, then it won't record locations. And the only thing that's done with these locations is to tag it on the events that are required from the FMCSA, and that's all. So to get this set correctly, what we'll do first is we'll say, we'll allow it to use um, while using this app. So we'll say yes to that. Okay, then what will happen is that will um, turn on the first level of getting the permissions. So what will happen is it will get the permission, it will get the location every time an event is recorded, even on login, like every little event that the app does records a location. And then if we leave it set like that, what will happen is as we're using the application and we use it in the back and it goes in the background, like say we answer a phone call or anything like that, the app will go to the background. Then when we bring the app back to the front, it will ask us, to, you know, the, the application is asking to have permission set to all the time. Do you want to approve that or do you want to keep it the way it is? And if you want to approve it, then what you have to do is go into the settings and actually change it, and it'll prompt you to do that. So what that looks like is, let me see if I can change over here to my settings right here, okay? And this will, when you go into settings, you're going to look for all your applications. Then you're going to select truck and office, which is right there. It'll look like this. It'll say truck and office. And in the middle here, it says permissions location. When you click on that, that will open this next screen up. And location is set to only while app is in use. And when you select the locations, there's an option now to select allow all the time. And when you select that, then it will get the location um, anytime it needs to record an event for FMCSA compliance for the government, for the Department of Transportation. So only when we're recording um, legal events do we need the location, but it needs to do it even if the app is in the background when we need to rec when the app needs to record uh, you know an event. Okay, so once that is set correctly, then we can just go back. And we have that all done, so then let's go back to our Truck and Office app. And then our locations will be set correctly, okay? So that's the first thing we needed to get set right, and probably the most important one. The next permission that we need to have, or the next um, thing that we need to set up on our phone, is that we need to make sure our Bluetooth is turned on. Um, this light in the upper right corner of the screen right now is red, and it has a little Bluetooth symbol and if we click on that, it'll show what information is being recorded um, into the, not recorded, but uh, what what information the application is able to read. Um, and right now it's not able to read anything because uh, we don't have Bluetooth turned on. So most of you know how to turn Bluetooth off, on and off, but I just wanted to show you on this phone. This is a Google Pixel phone, Android phone. So if you swipe down, there's a Bluetooth button right here on this phone. And you can see it's toggling, it's doing a little scan to see if there's anything that it can pair with. Now some phones, when you turn the Bluetooth on, it will come up and, you know, it'll show you, it'll do a scan and show you all the app, all the devices within range that you can pair with and you can start going into like a pairing process. So for the truck and office application, we do not have to do any pairing. We simply have to turn Bluetooth on. And then while the Bluetooth is on, 
then it will be able to scan for any available devices and um, will pair automatically, will sync up automatically to any devices within range. So you obviously have to be in range of your truck. You have to have your device plugged into the truck so that's powered up. And then you have to have your Bluetooth on and the mobile app will connect to it automatically. Okay. Now, the only other permission that we need to make sure we have or the other functionality that we need to make sure we have is we need to make sure that we have a data plan. Now, with cell phones, this goes without saying, I guess, because you're going to have internet data through the cell towers and ability to make phone calls, etc. But this application will run on any kind of device. It'll run on any phone, any tablet, um, even a laptop or whatever, as long as you can put an app on there. So if you're running this on a tablet, you need to make sure it's a tablet that has a data plan so that when the events are recorded and whatnot, it can, it can you know, they, they can be loaded up to the uh, truck and office servers so that all your events are saved and can be submitted and stay compliant and all those things. So those are the functionalities that are required. We need to have locations set to all the time. We need to have Bluetooth turned on so that it can connect to the device. And you need to make sure you have a data plan on whatever device that you're using. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.